Tolan was a gambler. He was a real gambler. He wasn't afraid to try anything. I remember when they were doing Citizen Kane, I was working in the trick department at Selznick, and they shot it at Selznick Studio. Is that really your idea of how to run a newspaper? I don't know how to run a newspaper, Mr. Fetch. I just try everything I can think of. So working with Orson Welles, who was also a gambler, uh, the two of them made a wonderful pair on that picture. Wonderful pair. Wouldn't you love to have known what films that Wells and, and Tolan screened together and what they enjoyed? And obviously, how Wells had seen Tolan's work and been impressed with it. The idea that, that Tolan understood all the rules he could break. No public man whom Kane himself did not... I mean, the film that opens up with a send-up of, of the March of Time newsreel, and I mean, it is done with such loving detail. I mean, in terms of textures and contrasts and dupes and scratching film intentionally. And all this. I mean, what a wonderful time they had to have sitting around there thinking up all of the different things that they were going to do in that film. They must have had a very good trust for one another because a director has to kind of embrace their DP to let them go. And, and what Toland contributed is so amazing to that film, you know, the deep space and the camera blocking. Um, it takes a certain kind of director to want to put up with being that demanding on their actors. That's complete choreography of acting to camera. By having the deep focus, he was able to give Orson a lot more leeway in how he moved his actors and stages the scenes and freed him up. I think that was a tremendous contribution that Greg gave to the film. Be careful, Charles. Okay. Pull your muffler around your neck, Charles. Okay, and I think we shall have to tell him now. Yes. You know, we always have this problem in cinematography, not being able to carry somebody in the foreground and sharpen and focus on somebody 20 feet back. And Greg uh, had for a number of years been working on new lenses, faster lenses, that would allow him to pour more light in and, and stop down and get a greater depth in, the, in, in these scenes. And that's one of the things, I think, that gave uh, uh, Citizen Kane uh, the, the kind of dynamics that it had, it extraordinary dynamics compared to other films at the time. 